here, let's explode a cell. And we're going to get every single character exploded individually like this. We'll get the characters themselves as well as the codes that represent them, which can allow for slightly more advanced formulas. Actually, both of these are going to be great for incredibly advanced formulas, and I'll link to one in the description of this video. Now, let's go with the very first example. And I'm going to write it out first and then explain it a little bit. So we're going to be doing the mid function. That's going to be the container function that allows us to break all of these out. And the mid function works, well, pretty simple. So the easy version of it is select this cell and then a start number. So where do we want to begin to get a value from this cell? If we go one, that gets us the first character. And number of characters, how many do we want to return? If you only want to return a one, put a one, two, put a two. So if we go like this, we get A. If we change one at the end here to a two, we get AS. If we keep it at one, but we put the start number argument to, let's say, three, then we will get C, because C is the third character here. That's the premise. And this now is pretty much all we need. The only issue that we have is how do we change start number? We want to change it so that it allows us to get every single character out of here. And we do that using one of the new functions, sequence. And sequence allows you to return a sequence of numbers. So if I put five in here, it's going to return, well, let me just show you. If I select it and hit F9, one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to individually feed those numbers to the mid function, one, two, three, four, five, which means it's going to get a value from the cell first at the first position. And how many characters will it get? Well, one, because we have one right there. So it's going to get the first letter, then the second, then the third, then the fourth, and then the fifth. So if we leave it at this, it's going to return ASC-B. But we want it to return everything from the cell. So we need to know how many characters are in this guy. Can you think of a way to do that? The len function, L-E-N, that's going to tell you how many characters are in this cell. So we use that to feed the sequence function to feed the mid function. And now when we hit enter, there we go. All of it broken out down here. And now this doesn't seem very useful, as I said earlier on, but if you use this in more complex functions where you want to check everything, like let's say a kind of regular expression formula, which I've done before and I'll link to in the description of this video, something like this can be really helpful. So the more complex things get, the more helpful this will get. And for code, all we really have to do is, well, let me show you what it does first. So every letter and character is going to have a code number. And we hit enter and we can see the code number. And sometimes that can be really useful for things like hidden spaces. There are a whole host of characters that are rather annoying that you may want to clean out of a cell. And the code function is going to allow you to really easily figure out which ones those are. Or figure out a range and say, I only want characters in this range or that range. So it's a very helpful thing to have. And all we want to do is to put uh, this guy right here into the code function right here. And there we go. Now, I am in Excel 365, and that makes life so much easier. So sequence is a newer function. And this spill feature right here is in the newer versions of Excel. All this really is, if we go here and we select everything and hit F9, that's all it really is, an array of values that Excel will then present in a beautiful way that's easy for us to read. But that's how you can explode cells in Excel.